The arrival of next-gen consoles always gets us thinking about what direction the games industry is headed in. Sony and Microsoft have differing approaches to value this time around, with the former maintaining their solid exclusives approach, and the latter putting all their value eggs in the Game Pass basket. That basket also includes Microsoft's cloud offering Project xCloud, allowing players to stream their games across a wide array of devices. Cloud gaming also arrived on Switch recently, with the release of Control, and the announcement of Hitman also headed to the system via streaming in the near future. Those games aren't technically the first though, as Japan has also seen the release of Resident Evil 7, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Fantasy Star Online 2 in cloud form. So is the Switch also poised for a cloud gaming revolution? Greetings everyone, Phil here from Nintendo Village, thanks for joining us. In this video I'm going to run through firstly whether or not the Switch is equipped to handle cloud gaming, and secondly whether or not it's something Nintendo are actually able to pursue in future. Thanks for clicking on this video, I hope you enjoy it, if you do hit that like button, do consider subscribing to the channel as we have new videos up every week, and be sure to let me know your thoughts at the end down in the comments. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, let's dig into some specs. According to Microsoft, the bare minimum download speed required for 720p cloud gaming is 10 megabytes per second, with latency, which basically translates to the delay between your button presses and them appearing displayed on screen, below 50 milliseconds. There's some variances in the guidance for Google Stadia and Amazon Luna, but that's a solid benchmark. Before we even address the Switch itself, this means that you'll need a solid router and internet connection. You'll be wanting to hit around 35 megabytes per second on your chosen Wi-Fi band for a stable connection, and whilst most routers should handle that okay, the router that's given to you by your internet service provider won't necessarily hit that easily and consistently. Moving on to the Switch itself, and the good news is that the hardware within the system is more than equipped to hit those minimums. It only has a single Wi-Fi antenna, but is nevertheless equipped with 802.11ac MIMO Wi-Fi support, giving theoretical speeds of 162.5 megabytes per second, though realistically it's probably around half that. What this means is that unless you've got some insane gaming Wi-Fi router, the Switch will easily hit the capacity available to you. Naturally, the optimum way to play cloud-based games is with a wired connection, but unfortunately, the Switch falls down here because the dock lacks an Ethernet port. You can buy an adapter, of course, but out of the box, you're looking at a suboptimum, if sufficient, setup for the Switch. And this leads us neatly on to whether or not Nintendo actually care enough to optimise the Switch or any future console for cloud gaming. Portal console that it is, if we were to perhaps get a Switch 2 with cloud gaming as a substantial part of the equation, you would expect it to have some sort of cellular connection to allow for internet connections when a Wi-Fi router isn't available. This would realistically need to be 5G compatible to be truly viable for cloud gaming too. But that's just for the end user. At Nintendo's end, there's questions about whether or not they have the technological capacity, or indeed expertise, to make a serious foray into cloud gaming. Microsoft's xCloud supports 5G and is helped no end by the fact that Microsoft have existing data centres around the world. It utilises those Azure data centres in North America, Asia and Europe and Microsoft says they're building more too. Likewise, Google has plenty of expertise in this area and multiple data centres from which it can run Stadia. And Amazon of course have the AWS, which it touts as the most secure, extensive and reliable cloud platform a platform that its recently launched Lunar service runs on. Nintendo don't have that kind of infrastructure, nor are they particularly renowned for their online offering. One would expect that, should they decide to explore the cloud gaming route, they would have to find a partner for that. Obviously, the relationship with Microsoft is strong right now, but until such time as they ditch the hardware completely, and Xbox simply becomes the name of their Game Pass, Xbox Live, xCloud service, I can't see Nintendo necessarily going down that route. It's most likely they would return to Amazon, having used AWS during the launch of Super Mario Run. A case study on Amazon's own website about that launch hints that it may well be an option in the future. Alternatively, they could just leave it to the publishers to handle as they have with control, but that presents issues of its own. 
Ultimately though, I just don't think Nintendo consider cloud gaming to be viable for a mass market right now, nor do they anticipate it going that way in the immediate future. I've talked in other videos about how Nintendo are indicating that they're not getting out of the hardware business anytime soon, and as it stands, I think that's the right call. Apart from anything else, Nintendo aren't a company that caters exclusively to hardcore gamers. They're a family company whose games are enjoyed by people of all ages. And so, until such time that basic internet packages are all providing lightning fast speeds and free beefy routers, Nintendo aren't likely to limit their audience in that way. It will be interesting to see, in 10 years or so as the global internet infrastructure improves, whether or not the industry fully embraces cloud gaming and what effect that has on Nintendo's plans going forward. But for the time being, as well equipped as the Switch is to handle cloud gaming, I can't see Nintendo making it a core part of the experience anytime soon. What do you guys reckon? Do you think that Nintendo should be investing more heavily into cloud gaming? Or do you think it's just a bit of a fad and it will never really take off? Let me know down in the comments and let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, we've got tons of other cool stuff here on Nintendo Village. Here's some examples for you. And do be sure to subscribe to the channel as we have new videos going up every single week. Don't forget to check out the NintendoVillage.com for more Nintendo news, reviews, features, podcasts and all that cool stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all next time.